Hi, it's Christine again. I've finished off that other video and now I'm going to continue on. I basically left off talking about um, how I wanted to set some goals for myself. <laughs> and when I decided I was not going to go on hospice, I'd rather stay home and fight and train and work my ass off and do whatever I have to do. I was supposed to go into a nursing home. I declined. I declined a catheter because um, I sit in this chair probably way too much, but I really first of all I can't have general anesthesia and secondly I really don't pee as much as I would like to it's just a little bit complicated get me in that chair but you will see me in it more I'm doing videos at night but anyway back to hospice um, <laughs> All they would give me for hospice, minus pain medication to make me comfortable, because that would stop me breathing, and that would be physician-assisted suicide, <laughs> death with dignity, or whatever. <laughs> well, there's not anybody that's going to sign up for that, and um, it turns out that it's probably a law that's kind of like as big as a freaking abortion law, you know, um, you know, death with dignity, or I can't remember if that's what they call it, you have to have a six month, either way, if you go on the hospice and they, they decide to, um, activate your health care directive, either that, or you go on death with dignity, you have to have a doctor to say that you have six months or less to live. Well, that's never, ever going to happen. There's no doctor that's going to sign up for that shit. There's too many damn lawsuits, red tape, and my doctor even admitted <coughs> the red tape, gray area, all the kind of crap that that I fit into. So, um, basically, my death is going to be fucking suffering, you know, and um, I'm going back to the goal that I wanted to set because <laughs> since I decided that um, I need you to get a better attitude and kind of move forward with the spring after I lost my cat, I pretty much just wanted to die. I feel way, way deconditioned, and I'm scared as shit, and, um, <laughs> and then I set these goals, because they're talking about, um, humanity, and, um, um, hu uh, humility, I think it was, or, you know, if you feel bad for yourself, you should do something nice, even if it's like, buy somebody a cup of coffee or listen to something, you know, do an extra <laughs> nice thing to make yourself feel good, but you can't do this without setting boundaries for yourself because um, then it's, you know, basically codependence. You're not taking care of yourself, so the number one thing is, is you must take care of yourself first. <laughs> Well, I can't take care of myself, but all I have is, you know, my head. And so, um, the very frickin' next day, I ended up in the emergency room, and I um, was there the whole day, and then the next day, I <laughs> cut my toes, so I had to get some stitches put in my toe. So, um... Boy, I had to scramble for freaking positive attitude again, didn't I? <laughs> so basically what my point being is about hospice, okay? 
I think human suffering sucks. Okay, I don't. I think if you know that you're dying, if you have AIDS, you have Alzheimer's, you know, why sit there and watch someone just, you know, freaking cry out until their last breath? You know, I've seen people die. I've seen my dad die. I've seen my mom die. I was there when she died. I've seen my boyfriend die. He looked like a dead dog. I'm not kidding. They took him off his his drugs and stuff after being in the hospital and um, they let him starve to death <laughs> and um, it's called the Terry Shiva law it was the same year that that, that came out where um, basically she was paralyzed and she was brain dead and <laughs> her, her husband divorced her and um, <laughs> He ended up getting the power of attorney back after 10 years and um, uh, did her wishes and let her die because her parents up until that point would go to the hospital and say, well, we, th we see somebody in there, you know, when she was really technically brain dead and this went on for ten years for people that don't remember. It was probably back in two thousand four, something like that. Well anyway, I got to see my boyfriend die. That sucks, okay? I've never seen anybody much so scared in my life. He looked like a dead dog. And you know, then my dad, you know, he's died of cancer but pushing the freaking morphine button and screaming and crying and I just don't understand it. I don't understand that. I don't get that. Is that just me? I think it's so wrong. Why don't they just, I mean, I was talking to the neighbor kids about back in the old days, you know. I think that if somebody was suffering that the man would probably take the gun and take whoever was suffering and put them out of their misery and they'd bury him or whatever they would do, you know, <laughs> because there was nothing they could do. I mean, even animals do the same thing, you know, I mean, if a lion cub is paralyzed or attacked, the mother will walk away. And leave the animal to die, you know. And, you know, most animals that are outdoor pets will crawl off into the woods and die. I mean, I'm thinking of all this stuff, you know. And I don't understand why they just pack the freaking nursing homes full of people to just terrify them. And most of them have already been there, done that, lost with their family members, I mean, <laughs> even myself, you know, I've had to lose a lot of contact with, I mean, tomorrow's Easter, do you think I got invited anywhere, or do you think anything special is going to happen, do you think I'm even going to eat an Easter egg, probably not, probably not, you know. Maybe I'm just feeling sorry for myself and I'm angry and inventing, but I just don't agree with human suffering. I think that, you know, if you have a gene of an aggressive form of cancer or Alzheimer's or AIDS or something like that, you can say within a certain amount of time, if there's two doctors that agree that the person suffering and they'd be better off <laughs> you know pass away that I think you should be able to activate that and die in your own home but no what the state does is they swoop in they take all your fucking money and they um, take all your assets and um, they um shit my phone's ringing <sighs> Up. Anyway, 
Hold on a second.